Hey you guys, it's Jennifer and welcome back to Little Grain Farmhouse. Today I am here to show you how to do a really good cleaning of your garbage disposal. Now, I typically, in my monthly chores, use a product called Disposer Care to clean my garbage disposal. And when you use that, you shove this packet of stuff down into the garbage disposal, run it with just a trickle of water. It foams up and everything, and it kind of cleans out everything from there, leaves the garbage disposal with a really fresh scent. Um, you can also then, oh, sorry, my husband's mowing the lawn. You can hear the mower. Um, anyway, you can also, um, afterwards, I'll take the sponge and go underneath that rubber collar that's around where you put food into the garbage disposal just because stuff builds up under there and it's gross and um, so I usually put in the disposer care thing and after it foams up and get some of that stuff off then um, when I'm all done um, with that cleaning the garbage disposal then I go and clean that collar thing which is just you know bleh. but um, anyway uh, from time to time I do a really deep cleaning on my garbage disposal and if you've never done a deep, deep cleaning on your garbage disposal, it's gonna be pretty nasty at first. So anyway, I wanna show you the steps for how to do this. Um, I actually saw this on the channel of Keitha at uh, Bajan Texan. And so anyway, but I thought I would walk you through the steps of doing a really thorough cleaning of your garbage disposal. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna start by running the garbage disposal and making sure that anything that is in there gets broken up and washed away. All right. Next, what I do is I put in a I put in some baking soda. So I'm going to put some a bunch of baking soda down here, about a uh, about a half a box. And then the this is a toilet brush, and this is not one that I use for a toilet. This is just specifically one that I use for cleaning the garbage disposal. Um, and this size is good because it fits down in here nice. Okay, so I dumped in um, the baking soda, and I'm running the water over here. I'm getting it to go to hot. And then um, I'm going to run it down here and then start cleaning. You want to get the blades and the sides. Now, remember that garbage disposal clearly is not on, but we're getting it all scrubbed in here. Make sure you get that collar that collects crap in there. Okay, now my uh, brush is not really disgusting because I cleaned my garbage disposal before I clean it on a monthly basis. And so um, I use a, I use that easier store-bought method. And this is just what I do from time to time to really give, give it a good cleaning. All right, so next step. Okay, so now I just poured some more baking soda in there and I sliced up a lemon and I'm sticking that in and then this off here. Now I'm going to pour in some vinegar and that's going to start foaming up. You can see that foaming up there. Kind of let it, can you hear it? It's still doing its work down there. It's reacting with the baking soda. Yeah, it's still bubbling. Now, if your if if your garbage disposal was really gross when you used the um, brush in there, then at this point I would go ahead and stick the brush back in, even with the lemon rinds down in there, and just kind of brush it around again. All right. So um, now what I'm going to do is plug up. The opening. Oh, I, I ran it over on this side of the sink until the water started to get hot. And so now I'm going to put water in this side of the sink and about a cup of bleach. I'm just going to let this fill up a good amount. Okay, so now I have 
oh, I don't know, a couple inches of hot water in here with bleach. So I put on a glove here, and then I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reach down and unplug this um, while I have the garbage disposal running. So what's going to happen here now is that the hot water and the bleach and the baking soda that's still in there and the lemon rinds that are in there are all going to um, mix together. The lemon rinds will keep everything cleaning and cleaning and cleaning because they will take a little bit of time to break down. Let me um, just say this before I forget. Don't use lime rinds because they're too... Um, they're too... Uh, I don't know, rubbery or whatever. They don't break down. You should, limes will just clog up your garbage disposal. So um, so don't do that. You could probably use grapefruit, but lemon's the best, most acidic. It's going to have the best smell here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the garbage disposal and then lift this thing out. <laughs> Okay, that's all you do. Well, you guys, I hope that was helpful to you and hopefully you'll give it a try so we'll all have these wonderfully clean garbage disposals. Let me know how it goes for you, you guys. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that button and YouTube will let you know when I upload new videos, which is several times a week. So take care, you guys, and we'll see you again on Little Green Farmhouse. Bye-bye.